Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's growth call for BISC for the week of June 27th, 2019. My name is Steve Jane. Uh, we have these growth calls every week at this time to discuss how the BISC network has been doing and to discuss current priorities for the project. Um, if you were, if you've been following closely, we did not upload a call last week. Um, I actually held that call. I don't think anyone else joined. I didn't really have anything new to cover, so I didn't uh, upload. The video, it was like a six or seven minute video, nothing really new on it. So there are two small points that I mentioned then that I'll cover now, um, but that's that's uh, the reason for the gap. Um, agenda for this week is also pretty light. I just wanna do an update since it's uh, we're nearing the end of June, I wanna do an update on the market and I want to do an update on the uh, fiat protection mechanisms that we are working on, I think we're making progress on and, and uh, hopefully getting close and closer and closer to, uh, to finally deploying. Before I get to that agenda, uh, I'd just like to cover a couple of points from, uh, from, the, from last week and a couple of goings on from, from this week. Uh, so first of all, last week on Tuesday, uh, Aruna, uh, the translation, a Transifex admin, uh, held a call to a uh, second translator call to discuss the initiatives and the status of the uh, attempt uh, or the, the project to translate the website uh, for it in other languages. And um, I, there's a video, a link to the video. I think the video is already up on YouTube. Um, the reason I wanna mention it is just in case anybody's watching this and wants to get involved with translation translations, helping out in that project, uh, that's a good call to watch to understand uh, what's going on and where more help is needed and where you might be able to help. So you can find there's a playlist uh, on the BISC YouTube account called, uh, I think it's Translator Calls or something like that. And uh, the second video is, is the one I'm referring to that, uh, that you can watch for more information on, on that. And as a side note, for those who uh, uh, aren't uh, very familiar with the efforts going on there. Aruna is actually going to be stepping away from the role for uh, for for a couple of months. Uh, I believe she's moving to uh, she's moving away uh, uh, from her current residence and traveling a little bit. So I believe uh, September is when she's uh, planning to be back. So until then, uh, Yevgeny, I, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right, um, is going to be taking her place. Um, he's been working with Aruna pretty closely for, for a while now, and um, yeah, he's going to be uh, the one in charge of that role uh, for, the, for, the, for the near future, at least. Other goings on, other item to mention, uh, this was the week of Bitcoin 2019 uh, in San Francisco. I just got back this morning with a red eye. I'm wearing the same shirt. If you, uh, if you, if you watch the, uh, uh, the video of the panel I was on, I uh, kind of left the panel and then Hopped on a flight, flew back here, and uh, kind of the same day extended. Um, anyway, it was great. It was it was uh, a lot of uh, a lot of good events, a lot of good people uh, that uh, spoke that I who I met. Um, I actually ended up meeting finally meeting Max of Hodel Hodel, their uh, their their uh, CEO. Um, great guy. He uh, I, I believe. Uh, I believe Manfred, I know Chris did, Chris Beams, and I believe Manfred spoke at Max's conference, the Baltic Honey Badger conference in, in Riga. Um, so he was, you know, fan of BISC. Uh, we had a good, really good talk on Monday about uh, just the industry and trends and, and whatnot. Uh, so it was really good to meet him. Uh, he's, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, yes, Hodel Hodel doesn't have the same degree of uh, decentralization and, and maybe obsessive decentralization as 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 BISC, but I I walked away from from our talk uh, really um, really positive about his mindset and what he's trying to do. I think he's right right there with us in terms of uh, just philosophy and, and mindset of what of what they're trying to do at Hodel Hodel. Um, so I'm really happy to be uh, to have met him and to uh, to see what they're doing there. Um, so that was cool. Um, I also chatted with a couple of BISC users. So after the panel uh, that I was on, a couple of people walked up to me and kind of, you know, 
thanked me for being involved in the project and let them let me know that they were users. Uh, one guy in particular has been a user since 2016, uh, since, which is when BISC uh, actually launched. And we had a really long, nice conversation. And he had, uh, in, partic in particular, one really good idea for bootstrapping new users, which um, is something we've been trying to figure out for a while. Um, basically, the idea was to um, put up bounties uh, for new users uh, who don't have Bitcoin who don't really know how or where else to get Bitcoin to make their first trade on BISC. Um, the idea was that, uh, you know, essentially put up some bounties that are not so, I don't know exactly what kind of work this could entail, but ideally this work would be, um, you know, not very technical, something that a broad range of people can do. That's not so easy that anybody can do it and easily just spam the system or spam us but not so hard that only a very few select few talented people can actually do it. Something in the middle, like I said, I don't know exactly what this task of these bounties could actually be, but if we could get people to invest, you know, maybe a couple hours of their time or, or something to prove that they really want to trade on this um, and then earn that BSQ, um, then maybe a contributor could file a, a compensation request on their behalf or maybe lend them the money, the BSQ and the Bitcoin for them to make a compensation request um, to then earn BSQ, which they could then sell for, for Bitcoin. Um, it, it's a little convoluted. I, I know it probably sounds a bit complicated and I don't know, it's probably not the best onboarding experience. Uh, but I, I thought it was a good idea in that it solved the, to some extent, solved the trust problem that we have with lending Bitcoin to people we don't know. Doing work is a good way of getting around that, uh, that trust uh, issue. Like you really want to, uh, you know, uh, if I lend a stranger Bitcoin, how do I know they're going to pay me back? Well, when you do the work for it, you kind of prove that uh, in a way, um, or maybe not prove, but you, you show with a, a higher degree of confidence that you uh, are, you're not just doing, uh, taking advantage of, of an offer, of a friendly offer that somebody's making. So that was a cool idea. Maybe we can talk more about it later on um, when it's more appropriate too. Okay, so the, oh, oh, and I guess I should say the panel, uh, talk about the panel, briefly talk about the panel I was on. I was not looking forward to the topic, regulation, not something I wanna talk about. Uh, but uh, the crowd loved it. I think uh, there's a tweet I posted on the growth channel. Um, people were actually cheering on this. When I first introduced myself, I, didn't ha I hadn't said a thing. All I said, my name, I'm from this, and spontaneous round of applause. It was amazing. I, I don't think that kind of thing happened at any other panel, any other talk at the whole conference over two days. Um, but it happened with uh, with BISC. So uh, the project is, is certainly doing something right. Um, I said something else uh, later on during the panel. It was only a 20-minute panel, so I probably didn't talk for more than four or five minutes total. Um, but I, I said something else later on. Again, spontaneous round of applause. Um, and there was a clear, I mean, it was a panel of me, uh, uh, the uh, uh, person in charge of um, regulatory affairs at Bitflyer, uh, Haley Lennon, and uh, this guy Tom uh, from uh, Elliptic, which is basically chain analysis. Um, so it was kind of like, I had no idea where the conversation was gonna go, but uh, I believe I was able to uh, paint a very distinct picture of where BISC stands relative to the establishment, what was become establishment cryptocurrency um, yeah, so, and it was good. Uh, Edward Snowden spoke earlier in the morning. He uh, they had a keynote sort of uh, chat with uh, the organizer of the of the conference, and a lot of what he said, I think, set the stage very well for a lot of some of the things that, or at least the approach that I took. So, um, it was just nice to see a uh, uh, a, a presence of privacy. Uh, minded um, discourse at the event, and and, and uh, you know the, the the 
the people there, a lot of people there, I think 2,000 people is what they were expecting over the two day period. Uh, you could tell it was, it, was, it was the right crowd because they, they were in that mindset. They wanted to hear more about that kind of stuff. So I think it was, uh, it was, it was time well spent. Okay, for the agenda, uh, market update. Um, I mean, record breaking, record making. We're at almost 2,400 Bitcoin for the month, which is insane. 2,419 trades. That's not a high, but it's pretty good. 88 Bitcoin average traded per day. That is insane. Very, very high. Um, obviously, most of this is Monero, but it's volume and it's very, very good. Just for context, that 2,400 Bitcoin monthly volume that we have so far, the next highest was 1,600 in December of 2018. So what is that, like a 60% or, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a very, very, very big increase. So chances are it's not gonna, you know, well, I shouldn't be pessimistic, but generally speaking, spikes don't indicate um, the start of a consistent trend, but it's, it's nice to see, a, to see a spike like this anyway. Uh, second item, and I guess last item that I have here is the protection mechanisms, just to update there. Uh, there's been a lot more activity on proposal number 93 lately. Uh, Manuel and Christoph have been going back and forth on, on details, parameters, uh, such as how long uh, of a delay there should be until people can themselves become signers. Uh, how we should handle signing in new markets, things like that. Um, I believe Christoph has made good progress on account signing. Uh, I saw something about SQ reviewing uh, the work that Christoph has done so far. And I believe SQ has also finished the chat. Uh, I believe the basic um, mechanism for that, it, it might need some more UI work, but um, that's not something that we plan to integ integrate until a little bit later anyway. So, but it's good to see that that's uh, you know ready to go when it's when it or close close to being ready to go when it to uh, for when it's needed. Um, so yeah, we're getting there. It's uh, um, I know something people want to see came up at the conference when I was talking to people the limitations on fiat, um, especially with regard to new markets. Uh, I also met this guy who uh, who lives in Mexico. Has been there for about five years. Who uh, has been promoting this uh, through his his company. I wasn't sure exactly what he does, but um, he sounded like a very smart guy. It sounded like he's actually like, you know, not just a talker or someone who actually like, you know, genuine and actually doing stuff. The stuff that he said he was doing. Um, and if nothing else. He, he seemed to have really good marketing acumen. And so we'll, we'll be in touch. I have his information and um, uh, he seems like he might be a good source of, uh, for marketing insights in general and perhaps for uh, bootstrapping some activity in the Mexican market. So um, yeah, I mean, for the protection mechanisms, uh, I, Christoph is actually an, uh, dad duty right now i think he had some things come up with uh with that so he's wasn't able to join today but hopefully by next week we can have some more uh specific uh guidance as to where we stand with that i like i said i think we're, we're getting pretty close now we're just debating details on um you know details as opposed to bigger conceptual things now and i believe a big chunk of the mechanism signing mechanism has already been implemented so um, yes, progress is being made. That's all I have for now. Does anybody have any questions or comments, anything they'd like to cover, please send uh, in the chat or on Slack. I'll wait a few moments.
All right. We'll call that a call that a call. Call that a wrap. And yeah, thank you guys for joining. If you're on the web, if you're watching later on YouTube, whatever the case may be, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you again here next week.